In the dog days of summer in South Texas, we know how to keep ourselves safe, but what about our pets? Turns out a common activity for dogs can actually be dangerous in the heat. Walking dogs on the hot concrete can actually cause their paws to blister up when it's too hot. Um, it can be very painful on them. You can notice signs that kind of start hopping or something. They'll show you when it's too hot, but you can check yourself to see if it's too hot. Um, by putting your hand on the pavement or the concrete, whatever you're walking on, and if you can't hold your hand on there for at least five seconds, that it's too hot for their paws. The Dorothy O'Connor Pet Adoption Center wants you to be on the lookout for heat stroke in your pets this summer. Excessive panting, um, the really dark red or purple colored gums could be a sign. Lethargic, excessive drooling, stuff like that can be signs of a heat stroke in a dog. If you have outdoor pets, you need to take precautions to keep them safe in the heat. Just keeping them hydrated, looking for signs of dehydration. You definitely want to know the signs of heat stroke in dogs and even cats if you have outside cats. Um, but you definitely want to make sure they're hydrated, they have some shade to go into. Um, to cool them off, fans don't necessarily work as well as using a cool body wrap, like a towel or something, a wet, damp towel, and you wrap it around their body, and it actually cools them down faster and better than just a regular fan. There are also alternative activities you can do that are safe for active dogs in the summer. If you have a big enough living room, you can always play with them inside, um, take them swimming. If you have a dog that likes to swim, or if you still do play with them outside, you can get like one of those plastic pools and you can always fill it up with some cool water for them to run and play in, for them to drink out of. That's another thing to look out for whenever, if you do take them outside and you're trying to give them water, don't um, make sure that it's not hot. The Dorothy O'Connor Pet Adoption Center would also like to remind you never to leave your dog in a hot car. In Victoria, I'm Alexandra Kent for your hometown news.